So you wanna dominate the neighborhood, you wanna own everything. So when you're driving through, you see yard sign after yard sign after yard sign, staking your claim. And then you're gonna earn even more money, more neighbors are gonna say yes, life gets easier, you make the most amount of money in the least amount of time, and chances are, with those five visits you're making to every home and it's in that same neighborhood, you are leveraged to the T. So you can earn the most, and all the top performers are doing this because you can't run around everywhere. And plus, door knocking is not fun, that cold visit. Who are you? Changes when you leverage this friendship formula to own the neighborhood that you serve. Now, this formula is fully, 100% credit, goes to this gentleman, Jack Schaefer. He's a PhD, former FBI agent, and he wrote a book, which I got this from the book, called The Like Switch, okay? Highly recommended. Now, Jack um, talks about how he used this formula. There's four parts I'm gonna be teaching you to get in the mind of spies. Jack's job with the FBI was to spot spies, foreign spies that were selling sensitive information. His other job was to recruit people and to convert them to spy on their own countries and give us this information. So he learned this formula by literally having to friend people who were his enemy. And he did it, and he tells the story, one of the most iconic stories, of a Russian spy that he identified, got to flip, and then they were giving us information about Russia. And he used this friendship formula, and he showed step-by-step step how it applied to work there. And the reason I'm giving you this context is because after I read it and I learned Jack Schaefer's friendship formula from the like switch, I was like, oh my gosh, this is why the strategy to stay in the same neighborhood works so well because ultimately we're developing friendships even if they're on the periphery, even if they're subtle, even if they're small from all the surrounding neighbors. Now, what I'm gonna be showing you is step-by-step step, the four elements of the friendship formula and how you being in the same neighborhood over and over again is gonna get these to work for you. And I'm doing this for two reasons. Number one is to help you with your mindset shift because door knocking is tough. I know that. No matter how many videos I do on confidence and fear, it becomes an ever-present obstacle. So when we know that these formulas are working in our favor, it's gonna help our confidence. And number two is to get you fully invested with the idea that you need to be in the neighborhood over and over again. Because I have identified 25, yes, you heard me right, 25 sales opportunities. I'm gonna say it again. 25 sales opportunities from every single customer. So when you use each and every one of those, and that's the foundation, by the way, of my program, The Complete Sales Strategy, you learn exactly what to do, when to do it, and I give you the material from the Marketing Battle Pack to use, so you take advantage of all 25 of those sales opportunities. So you can highly leverage this friendship formula to work for you. And again, one of the other reasons I'm doing this video is I learned, like, this thing works, right? Getting into the same neighborhood over and over works. Leveraging all 25 of these sales opportunities works. People are proving it left and right. But I am always curious as to why. And when I read this friendship formula, it was like, boom, that is the reason I, it makes sense now. So I'm gonna jump in and share the four elements of Jack Schaefer's friendship formula and how they apply to help you own the neighborhood. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adam Benzman, The Roof Strategist. Everything I do here on the channel and the podcast and my products and services is designed to help you develop simple and actionable personal sales strategies that you can start using right away to smash your income goals. And the same goes for you, owners and teams. So let's jump in to today's friendship formula and how it's gonna help you dominate your door-to-door -door sales. So the friendship formula is comprised of four different elements, and I'm gonna go through them one by one. Number one is proximity, and that means distance and exposure. So in the book, Jack shares a story about a target. It was a, I believe it was a North Korean suspect. So all he did was show up in the grocery store. So he had close proximity, and gradually would get closer to this target so that there'd be this exposure, it'd be more familiar. Well, how does this apply to roofing sales? When you are in that same neighborhood over and over again, you no longer are doing this cold door knocking where you show up and people are like, who are you? You're there with intention, for a reason, for a purpose. You are increasing your proximity. You're working the homes. Homes are gonna get closer, right? 
Now, doing a house four blocks away is different than your neighbors. All of a sudden, it becomes more real. So the more you're in there, the closer the distance, and most important, the exposure. Even if you don't see that person yet, even if you knock their doors and they haven't seen you, when you are working the system, the multi-touch marketing, you're knocking the door, you're leaving a letter, plain paper, remember, you're sending a letter in the mail, show back up, they're seeing your yard signs, they see your truck or your car, they see the logo on your shirt, your hat, they see you on the neighbor's roof, they see install day, dumpsters going in and out, permits being posted, all of a sudden your distance and exposure goes up. By nature, when you show up at the door, you have one check of the four on the friendship formula and who do people buy from? People they know, like, and trust. So we're developing a deeper friendship when we don't even realize it. That is the beauty. Number two is frequency, and that's the number of contacts over time. Here's another story that Jack Schaefer shared in the book, The Like Switch. He was talking about getting in to, to interview this Russian spy in person in prison. And the guy says, I'm not talking to Jack. So what does Jack do? He shows up and he sits down and he reads the paper. And the guy says, what are you doing, Jack? He says, I want to talk with you. And then he gets back to reading his paper. And that's it. He increased the frequency, the number of contacts. The guy stated for weeks, I will not talk to Jack. And for weeks, this is how it went back and forth. He increased the frequency and he'd visit and he wouldn't force it. And you know what? After weeks, the guy finally cracked to talk by leveraging frequency. So you being frequent in the neighborhood over and over again. Someone might say, no, I don't trust door-to-door -door salespeople. I don't do this, I don't do that. All of a sudden, you're in there for weeks and weeks at a time. This frequency increases, trust goes up, friendship increases. When you start that conversation, you're not that cold person. You're not that door-to-door -door salesperson. You are there with an intentional friendship visit which is why that slap formula works so well, so well. It leverages the formula, the proximity, say hi and break the ice. They've seen you multiple times already. They've seen letters in the mail. They've seen letters at the door. All right. Then the, the proximity, hey, L, sorry, let me, I'm switching gears here. L of the slap formula, letting them know why you're there, making it relevant. Proximity, I'm showing up today. I'm stopping by your house because I just left Peggy's down the street. I just talked with John's insurance company, whatever it is, proximity. It's relevant to their neighborhood. The distance and exposure has increased. Your frequency is there. They see you over and over again. The stuff just works, all right? Next is duration, and this is the time spent which greatly affects influence. So frequency is one thing, but the longer people spend time together, the more friendly they are. Just like the time, the last conference you went to, you might take a total stranger, you happen to have a seat next to him, and then you start talking and your friends are better. What about the last flight you were on? You know those people you sit down, you know nothing about, you got your in, all of a sudden you're in conversation, and if it's a five minute conversation, it's nothing. If you talk for 20 minutes or half the flight, what do you feel like? There's a friendship because the duration of time spent which gives you greater influence. So when you have the frequency and proximity tier up, right, you're in the neighborhood over and over again, now the duration, when you're talking to that customer, you're taking this familiarity and exponentially layering on the time spent with them in their home. Got it? See how it's layering up and allowing you to own the neighborhood because you're literally developing the foundation of friendship with the entire neighborhood unconsciously? It's powerful, man. Super powerful. Final one is intensity, and that's satisfying the needs. These can be verbal and nonverbal, and when they witness, they meaning neighbors you have not yet worked with, when they witness other neighbors working with you, and all of these continue, they've seen you, maybe you've talked to them, just because they said no once doesn't mean that you shouldn't try again. And I've shared this story over and over again. There was a salesman that worked for us named Lonnie, Lonnie, um, I don't remember if it was he or I, we found this neighborhood that was like a little sliver of a gold mine, like two old storms overlapped and super marginal damage, but we were able to crack it open. And then Lonnie went and, and knocked, the, I, I was like 60 homes in four blocks, no joke. He did like the whole neighborhood. Pictures, yard signs, just staked everywhere. He'd get to know, and then he'd talk to people, and they'd say, no, we're not interested. He'd go back three, four times, and finally, he's, he was getting the homeowners to realize that Lonnie was, in fact, satisfying the needs of all these neighbors. They had new siding, new roofs, and you know what? They turned into yeses. So instead of wasting time and doing the biggest mistake that either door-to-door -door people in general, and specifically roofing salespeople, is they do this one and done. I knocked this neighborhood, and it didn't work. No, you now see the proof. You being in the same neighborhood to open it up over and over again, you need to use, excuse me, 
the multi-touch marketing approach. There's a link to the video right here. You show up, leave a letter at the door. Plain paper. If it's a door hanger, it screams marketing material. They're going to look at it, throw it out. Plain paper. It stands out. It looks authentic. Some human was there. You know, I'm, I had a, a guy message me. He's writing the address on the back of the paper to pique their curiosity. Curiosity is powerful. Blue pen. White, no, oh, what's this? You get him to open it. Now you're getting this, this frequency, the number of contacts, and increasing the time spent. Even if you're not physically there, they're seeing, they're reading your messages. You send a letter in the mail, you show back up using the SLAP formula that works in and leverages each of these. Once you make that sale, it is up to you to leverage those 25 sales opportunities from every customer so you don't have to go knocking cold doors. It's all relevant by leveraging the friendship formula to truly own the neighborhood. So if you didn't need proof, well, then this video wouldn't have been helpful. But hopefully, you did need proof. Hopefully, you see that there is a powerful impact of every single time you are in that neighborhood to shift your mindset to know, I am on this roof. And when someone sees me up here, I'm increasing my proximity and my frequency. And when I talk to them, the duration goes up. And as they see me serving the needs of others, the intensity increases. So they're ready and primed when I am there. And I have watched this work for myself. I've been up on roofs. I had two neighbors, two neighbors at the same time. I get off the roof. They're like, do my next, do my next. I was like, whoa, I have, they didn't even ask who I was. We were a new company in a new market, but the friendship formula worked. They grabbed me on a fresh storm. And the same thing happened when I was out training a team. I hadn't been out knocking doors in a bit. We got out. It was super fun. Three for three. On the three, three uh, roofs, I could see people looking at us. So we spent our time up there. We got off. We ended up talking to those neighbors. This friendship formula will work for you unconsciously. And it is the nail in the coffin, the reason that you need to spend time with each and every customer to leverage all 25 of those sales opportunities. You can do them on your own. You can follow my stuff and follow my process and the complete sales strategy. Do whatever works for you. But know that this friendship formula is going to work for you to own that neighborhood. Neighborhood. That's all for this video, but it does not mean our time here should be done. If you want even more, whether you're new or seasoned rep or running a team, click here to get a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro roofing sales training video library. It's all the videos I've ever done organized by category for easy reference in the field for training, whatever it is. All right, so right here for the free copy, your free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro roofing sales training video library, and click here to continue your journey with me. And let's jump into the next video. We'll see you soon.